Hello everybody, Sean here, and we are looking at the Executioner's Chariot boss, Dark Souls 2, a famous boss, he's been in quite a bit of the promotional footage, running people over, and it's actually a two-stage fight, so the first stage is actually against these skeletons, so run in, chop down the couple skeletons, then hide very quickly, uh, you can see my bloodstain from previous attempts, and then you're going to want to run up and you're going to find a summoner, and you want to take him out ASAP, and he'll keep resurrecting skeletons if you don't kill him, so he's your primary target number one. Take him out and then take out any skeletons that either revived or are still remaining in the area. Once that's done, start running up a couple more Elkos until you find this skeleton archer. You're going to want to take him out and when, once you come over here you will trigger a couple more skeletons. Uh, that one that's nearby and then these guys that come running off from a distance. Again, what you're going to want to do is kill the skeletons and you can see I just kind of bide my time and I let the chariot come by and hit them gives me time to heal up take out those four and then make sure you don't wait too long because they will get resurrected there's another summoner so let the chariot go by and start running up and you have to run about three alcoves three to four alcoves up to find the next summoner you can see i took a little pit stop up here i figured i was far enough away that the skeletons wouldn't reach me if they even got up so take him out, and then if he resurrected the skeletons, you want to wait. You saw him just finishing the animation. You could just see the outlines of the spell as I killed him. So I decided to wait. The skeletons will come running up. I took a... You could either wait for them uh, and uh, just let the chariot hit them like that, or you could just kill them outright if you feel pretty confident in that. I decided to wait because I knew my shields could absorb multiple hits, so it's easier for me to just sit there, let them smash on the shield, and then the chariot will come by and take them out for me. Once that's done, both summoners and the skeletons are all down, come over here, grab that switch, and then hide in the alcove again, and the chariot will come crashing into it, as you'll see momentarily. Boom! He takes a good chunk of damage, and then the chariot itself and the guy riding it are completely taken out, and you just have to deal with his horse. Now for this part of the fight, there's no skeletons, you don't need to worry about that. And for this, whether you're a mage or you're a melee character, I suggest coming in very light, as your primary form of defense in this is going to be evasion. Shields, even 100% block shields, they might block the damage that he's going to do, but he hits so hard, he's a very large character, that it's going to drain a significant amount of stamina from you, even if you get hit once. So the best option here is to come in light and just dodge. Whether you're melee or mage, it doesn't matter. Again, just dodge, dodge, dodge. It's much easier. If you're a melee character, or uh, sorry, if you're a mage character, keep in mind that the horse does have multiple attacks that close gaps. He charges at you. He can spit a very long-reaching wave of black smoke at you, uh, and he'll leap at you. So if you're a mage, keep that in mind, that you will need to dodge. And you're basically going to do the exact same thing as a melee character. Wait for him to attack dodge out of the way at the last second, then throw your spells or swing your sword, whichever one is your primary weapon. The horse is very weak, you can see he takes a ton of damage, and if you have a fire enchanted weapon, you're going to do even a little more damage. But there you go, Executioner's Chariot, I thank you for watching, and we'll see everyone next time.